Who am I? It's the most ridiculous question your mind can come up with about yourself. The outgoing mind, when the speaker says, who am I, to himself, your outgoing mind says, I could tell you, you're a guy with a t-shirt in a room. I could tell the colour of your skin, your hair. I can tell so much things about you. So, what's the purpose, you see? What's the purpose of asking who am I or who are you? I know. You see the mind, the I mind, the, 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 the who mind, you see, the am mind. Each one is a mind. The who mind is the questioning mind. The am mind is the movement towards an answer mind. And the I mind is me. The me mind. When I say, when you ask a question, who am I? When I say to myself, who am I? There's a, there's a questioner. There's a questioner asking about itself. That's two. Yeah? When you say, what is this? There's two. There's the one that wants to know what it is, and the object, the cup, what it is. There's two. So when I say who am I, there's a questioner and there's I. There's the one that says who, the one that wants to know, and the answer, I. So that's my name. That's my original name. Before my parents gave me a name, before I took ownership of names in the world, identities, meanings, purposes, methods, I am initially I. So, job done. Job done. So, all this enlightenment, all this spirituality, all this religion appears to be just a, another money-making gimmick. Yeah? Until the speaker then says, okay, so you are I. That's okay. That's 100% what you've discovered through that simple question. So what is I? Oh. What is I? Um, it's this, this is a self-discovery, self-discovery video. Okay, let's call it a self-discovery. So what is I? I ask you, what is I? <laughs> and the mind, your mind says, um, possibly says, I'm not speaking on your behalf, I'll speak what I used to know. Someone asked me the question, what is I? Well, I is a body. I is flesh and bones. I is a living object. I is a person, a form. Yeah. Okay. So I, your name, or my name, is something that describes what I is. Yeah? Good. Same same page. On the same page. Who? Or what? What? Or who? Um, is speaking. About I, the person. <laughs> I, the person, is speaking. Oh. So there is 
aided person and as a speaker. And you say, no, same thing. All one. Okay. So the speaker then says, what's behind you in your room? Let's, let's say you're in the same room as me, trees. Yeah. Are you the same one as trees? Oh, no, trees are over there. I am here. Okay. What says this? I know. I know. And that's stupid, I know. Yeah. Okay, so how do you know? Yeah. Because there is distance between I, the person, and the trees. There is space, there is, I have to go there to touch the trees. Oh, yes. Where is all this information coming from? <laughs> My brain. I know it. I learned it. <coughs> you learned it. So it's not your information. It's mine now. I keep... Uh, maybe, yeah, but you got it from another source. Yeah, my parents brought me up, my teachers they, uh, at school. Everyone <laughs> knows that I am different from the trees. <clears throat> and who, who, who within your eye experiences this? This dual state. Me, the person. Okay, so the trees don't experience it. This connection between you and the trees, the trees don't experience it. <laughs> no, because there are only trees. Have you discovered what the tree is? No, but I can find out in a book, I'll tell you it's made up of bark and they can, you know, and they, they grow from the roots and the earth and blah, blah, blah. And, and they die and we get wood from them and all that stuff. This is intelligent information I'm receiving from this I. You must store a lot of information, Mr. I, person. Are you the storage? Are you the brain? Yeah, so, yeah, of course I am, yeah. So you are everything. You're everything within your body, but you're nothing out with your body. Exactly. Good. Tell me something about you. I, the person. Without using your words. Without using your brain. Without using your mind. Without using your information. Without using your knowledge without using <coughs> your senses, without using your emotions. Tell me something about you. Because these are added on to you. Your body is added on to you. Is it not? Is your body not adding on every day or taking off every day? Are you not <coughs> adding or subtracting parts of skin, molecules? colors of hair, hair, all this stuff is what we have been told, what we know, what the brain stores, you say, the mind stores, the information bank, I, the person, the, the whole history of what I know. But tell me something about you without using all these apps, without using all these tools, without using all these um, mechanical devices. Let's call them mechanical. Let's call them biological devices. Whatever you want to know. Tell me something about you. Hmm. 
No answer. Do you feel as if you are separate from your mind, your body, in this moment of silence? Do you feel separate from the trees? Do you feel separate? Because there's no thoughts coming through. Thoughts itself are made up words, syllables. You didn't understand the thought, I am a person, when you were three weeks old. It didn't come into your head, or your mind, or your body. <clears throat> when you remain in silence, with no attributes, no apps, no I, no person, no thoughts, no imaginations, no fantasies. But the breath still appears to be going on, but you don't even know. You don't know you're breathing until someone says, are you breathing? <sighs> yeah. So we are one until we have a mind or something that creates names, thoughts, imaginations, fantasies. But you're not one. We're not trying to say, I am one with you. You're one with your whole self in this moment. Can you remain like this? Right? Even Christ couldn't remain in presence. That's what you call it, presence. But the further into presence you go, the more content you become with life. And all of these names, they still exist, but they don't, they don't scar you anymore, they don't touch you. They are just like a tree. No interest in finding out if they have bark, resin, branches, leaves, just a tree. And the mind of intelligence is now cringing at this. We need to know. You need to know yourself. Once you know yourself, all of this becomes bliss. Because not, no interest in a tree, in the components of the tree, doesn't mean to say, your attitude is I don't care. Your attitude is simply like the sages, I don't mind. I love the trees as they are. I don't have to know what they're made of. They're made of. I don't know what this I don't have to know what this body is made of. It's breath. And one day it won't it'll stop breathing. And when that day comes, that day will come. I won't be informed of it. I won't have knowledge. I won't have information to say, oh you're gonna die in ten minutes. The palliative care nurse may say you're gonna die by tomorrow. Won't give you an exact time. Use the time wisely. Find the silence beyond I am the person, I am the mind, I am the world, I am the trees, Be beyond all that, you see. Beyond consciousness is truth. Truth is here now, presence. Ram Dass, be here now. Eckhart Tolle, the present moment. The speaker says, one moment. And all is as it is. What does as it is mean to the mind? What does as it is mean to the mind? Nothing. It doesn't take it anywhere. Backwards, forwards, upwards, downwards, nowhere. It takes it nowhere. As it is, is. This is God. This is truth. Truth is. God is. One is.